public house has only ever had one ghost. This rather placid ghost likes nothing more than to sit in the corner of the pub with a pint of mild. All ghosts are there to scare us. In fact, some are just continuing to do what they used to do in life. The following story, it could be said, is evidence of this. The railway is probably the most traditional public house in Pelsall today, having retained much of its original features, including its two rooms, a bar on one side and a lounge on the other, virtually untouched since 1861, at which time the landlord was Waldron Ledbury. The name of this public house derives from its close proximity to the once adjacent railway line. When Caleb Thomas Hill was the landlord in the 1870s, he accommodated one of the reporters who was covering the unfolding story of Pelsall Hall colliery disaster. As the photograph in this article shows, the favoured sport for this public house was bowling. However, with a tragic twist of fate, it is this sport which resulted in the presence of the resident ghost, which is still sometimes seen today. Back in 2001, Tom Osborne, licensee of the railway, confirmed that the public house did have a resident ghost. What made the ghost at this public house very interesting was that it was believed to be the ghost of a man who was known from the recent past. The resident ghost at the railway was said to be that of Mr Barnett, who worked on the bowling green behind the pub when it was there in the 1940s. During this time, Mr Barnett worked for Mrs Aspinall. The Aspinalls were landlords of the railway from 1914 to the 1940s. It was said that during this time, Mr Barnett came to his dreadful end when he broke his neck falling down the cellar steps of the railway. However, despite the tragic end to his life, it appears that Mr Barnett does still drop in to the railway for a quiet pint. The ghost of Mr Barnett is said to be a rather placid gent, who is sometimes seen wearing a flat cap sitting at the table in the corner of the lounge with a pint of mild. You may have seen him. The railway was his local during his lifetime and now it appears in the afterlife too.